In this video, we'll see an example of an application of piecewise functions. So we have Friendly Energy Company that has a certain rate schedule for heating a single-family home. First of all, they charge a monthly service charge of $15.95. So even if your heat is completely off and you don't use any gas heat, you're still going to pay $15.95. Now, natural gas is measured in things called therms. Uh, a therm of natural gas is actually 100 cubic feet of natural gas. But all that is really important here is that a therm is just a unit of measurement for uh, how much heat you're using in your home. So the first 50 therms cost 33 cents per therm, and then if you use over 50 therms, that costs 27 cents per therm. So for part A here, we're asked, what is the charge for using 50 therms in a month? Well, we know we're going to pay that $15.95 for sure. And then, since we're using 50 therms, we fall into this category of those first 50 therms. So each of those 50 therms we used cost 33 cents. So that means that our price for the per therm charge is 50 times 33 cents. They each cost 33 cents, and we used 50 of them, so we multiply. So when we work out 50 times 0.33, that works out to be $16.50. And so when we add those numbers together, our total bill turns out to be $32.45. Alright, what would be the monthly charge for using 150 therms in a month? Well, now we're in the category of over 50 therms, but we still pay 33 cents for the first 50 therms. So we've got three numbers here. We still have to pay the basic monthly charge of 15.95. For the first 50 therms, we still have to pay 50 times 0.33. And then for the next 100 therms, right, we've already paid for the first 50, we have to pay for the remaining 100. Each of those 100 therms costs 27 cents. So, somewhat good news here, we've already figured out this number. That number is the number from the previous part of the problem, which was $32.45. And then 100 times 0.27, that's 27, so we add those numbers together and we get $59.45. So when we use over 50 therms, we still have to pay this price for the first 50, and then it's this lowered price that we pay for the next however many are left over. So that conception is how we're going to think about creating a model here for this monthly charge. What we really want is a formula for this uh, fee schedule. But because we've got these different cases, we're not going to be able to come, with, come up with one formula for this whole thing, but we are going to be able to come up with a piecewise model. So here's the idea. Our cost as a function of x, the number of therms we use, is going to depend on how big x is. The first case is going to be if x is between 0 and 50. Because if x is between 0 and 50, then we don't have to worry about this secondary charge. We don't have to worry about the 27 cents business, because we're going to all be contained within this first case. So how much is it going to cost if we use 50 therms or less in this uh, month? Well, we're going to have to pay the $15.95, and then we're going to have to pay $0.33 cents per therm. However many therms we use, we'll multiply that by $0.33, cents, and that'll be how much our heat costs. Now, the other case here is going to be if x is greater than 50. In this case, we will have to worry about the $0.27, cents. so this will be a little bit more complicated. But the idea is the same as what we did in the previous problem when we had 150 therms we still had to pay 33 cents per therm for the first 50. So we're paying our basic monthly charge of 15.95. We're paying 33 cents per therm for the first 50. And then we're also paying 27 cents. But how many of these therms cost 27 cents? It's not x. x is the total number of therms we use in a month. But we've already paid for 50 of those therms, and we paid 33 cents each. So how many are left over if we've already paid for 50 and the total is x? Well, that's going to be x minus 50. And so that's our expression for what happens if x is greater than 50. Another way to think about this, I mean, what we have here is perfectly fine. Another way to think about this is to think about how we did the previous problem, where we said, look, we already know how much the first 50 therms cost. That was the 32.95, sorry, 32.45 that we had in part A. And then on top of that is what we have to pay for the remaining therms, the 27 cents times x minus 50. 
So that's just a slight simplification of what we had already done. But you can see here how a piecewise model helps us when we have these different cases for how much we have to pay.